Welcome to the Triumph Visitor Center here in Hinckley in the UK. Today, we're gonna to learn more about and reveal the exciting second phase of Project Triumph TE1, the future platform for electric powered motorcycles in the UK. And to get us started, let's meet Triumph's Chief Product Officer, Steve Sargent. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Steve. Uh, so before we talk about the second phase of the TE1 project and the powertrain prototype that's being revealed today, can you give us a brief overview of what Project Triumph TE1 is all about? Absolutely, Jamie. In essence, the project is all about developing a platform for Triumph's future electric motorcycles, hand in hand with the creation of the powertrain, battery and the infrastructure that makes this possible. Now, this is a groundbreaking collaboration between our four major UK industry and academic leaders to generate technological innovation for future electric motorcycles. So who are the key partners in this collaboration and what roles do they each play? Okay, so first we have Williams Advanced Engineering who are developing an all new industry leading lightweight battery design and integrated vehicle control unit. Uh, we have Integral Powertrain Limited's eDrive division who are developing an all new power dense electric motor and a groundbreaking inverter. And WMG at the University of Warwick are bringing their expertise in modeling and simulation and driving innovation from R&D to commercial reality. And then at Triumph Motorcycles, uh, we're leading the project, harnessing all of the innovative technology into a prototype machine, drawing on our electrical control system, chassis and driveline expertise, to deliver an electric motorcycle that feels and performs like a Triumph without any compromise. Now this is all with the support of the government's Office for Zero Emission Vehicles and Innovate UK, the government agency that promotes research and innovation to help grow the UK economy. All right, thanks Steve. Now with the reveal of the powertrain prototype today, I understand this means you're about halfway through the overall two year project. Now, before we talk to all of the partners, including yourself, about this big milestone, generally, how do you think things are going? So despite the challenges that we're all facing, I'm really pleased that actually the, the project is very much on track. And what we're seeing with regards to the development to date and how it can shape the future is really exciting. Well, that's great to hear, Steve. I've got to ask, what's under the sheet? Let's take a look. Okay. So Jamie, this is the first part of our reveal today. It's the first physical prototype of the frame, the battery and the motor for the TE1 project, which I understand you're going to talk to the other partners about today. Well, I mean, that looks really interesting. OK, now we're going to hear from each of the partners about where they are at, starting with Deer Ardash from Williams Advanced Engineering, who are working on the vehicle control unit and the battery system. So let's find out more about what their role is, where they are at today and what the next steps are for them. WA's role has been focused on developing the state-of-the-art battery system that will set a new standard in performance, range and weight for electric motorcycles. In regards to the levels of power, torque and battery system integration, this will be unrivaled in the market. We see this as a unique project that will bring together the best of British technology and we're very excited to be part of it. Looking at the features, we see that existing electric motorcycle technology means a performance level that is currently compromised at low levels of battery charge. But with our next generation new battery module technology, we intend to deliver a lightweight, compact solution to give the rider all of the performance, all of the time, regardless of battery charge, and importantly, class leading range. We spent a lot of time on the integration of the battery system. Getting this right is arguably more important than with any other type of electric vehicle. We've really pushed the boundaries to reduce mass and optimise position within the frame to benefit handling. What's more, we've also pushed the limit of battery performance, balancing cell design for acceleration and range with simulations based on track-based riding. In other words, as aggressive as possible. For me, this is going to be a beautifully neat installation where we have worked hard together with Triumph to optimise the centre of gravity for handling. 
The casing is an integral part of the bike structure, which has huge benefits in terms of frame stiffness. Regarding the outcome, the energy density of this new battery is a quantum leap over existing technology, meaning it will give the rider more power and for longer. WAE has also designed and developed an electronic control unit from scratch that combines the battery management system with the bike control functions in one package. No one else has done this and it really moves the game forwards in terms of packaging and integration and optimizing performance and range. We're incredibly excited to have got to the end of phase two and can't wait to get to the next step, which is building the running prototype. Well, that's some really cutting edge stuff from Williams Advanced Engineering. Next up, let's speak to Andrew Cross at Integral Powertrain, who are working on the motor and the inverter to see where they're at and how they're getting on. Integral Powertrain's role in the TE1 project is to provide a bespoke, highly integrated motor and inverter for the TE1 prototype. And of course, we're working really closely with the chassis and powertrain design guys at Triumph to achieve just that. One of the most important things for a motorcycle is, of course, mass. So one of the things we focused on in earnest is making sure that the motor inverter really compact and light. By removing heavy high voltage cables between the motor and inverter, for example, we've been able to create an extremely lightweight and compact package, well beyond anything out there currently. Additionally, by using silicon carbide in the power stage of the inverter, and by applying our advanced electric machine core technology to the motor, this will set new standards in terms of electric motorcycle efficiency, meaning a lighter weight overall and more performance and range. You can see the two main parts exploded here, with the silicon carbide inverter and motor control unit on the left, and the motor on the right, with a pint glass for scale. We're talking about a power unit that's incredibly small, but incredibly powerful. In regards to where we're at now, We've completed bench testing in the motor, which achieves almost 14 kilowatts per kilogram. And that's almost twice the target set by the UK Automotive Council for 2025. And to give you an equivalent to understand what this would mean, this is 180 horsepower from a motor that weighs 10 kilograms. Ultimately, this really is going to be industry leading technology that will absolutely help define the future of electric motorcycles, starting with the T1 project. We are proud to be part of this landmark moment for British industry. So that was Andrew Cross at Integral Powertrain with some phenomenal performance numbers. Now let's go to Warwick Manufacturing Group to hear from Trong Quan Din about the full test and simulation they've developed even before a prototype has been created. WMG is an academic department at the University of Warwick. We bridge the gap between academia and industry, driving innovation in science, technology, and engineering. Our role in the T1 project is all about modeling and simulation of all the key systems together so that we can understand how they will work and respond in the real world. So we can fully test the integration of all these elements before a bike is physically built. Talking about progress and what we have done building up to this phase two reveal, we initially create simple computer models to ensure the right component selection. For example, like making sure the motor have enough power for the performance required and the battery have enough energy for the range. Next, we move on developing more complicated simulation model, allowing us to imitate system on the bike and also mimic the riding in the real world, uh, allowing the development before the bike was even designed. The next step was to build a physical rig wired up with all the control units to help us make sure that all the elements talk to each other properly. All of this is crucial in ensuring that the technology and innovation come together properly and fully to deliver an electric motorcycle that's work in the real world. As with the other partners, we are very excited to have arrived at the review of the powertrain prototype, and I cannot wait uh, to move to the final phase with the running motorcycle. Thanks to Trong and the WMG team for that great update. Amazing that the entire motorcycle can be tested and real world riding simulated so accurately before it's even been a physical bike developed. Finally, let's rejoin Steve Sargent here in Hinkley to hear more about Triumph's role and to see for the first time what the Triumph TE1 prototype will look like. So 
Steve, can you tell us about Triumph's overall role in the project and what the objectives were? Absolutely, Jamie. I mean, this project is all about developing a platform for Triumph's future electric motorcycles. I mean, like all our motorcycles, we're looking to develop a Triumph that handles, performs, and delivers without compromise. You know, a riding experience that a rider really wants and expects. Now, achieving this comes down to several areas that we've been leading. And the starting point is the customer insight, and, you know, understanding what the customer desires from an electric motorcycle, you know, encompassing the type of riding, the range, the feel, and the nature of the power and the torque delivery, you know, the ergonomics, etc. So next up, you know, with the chassis design, this is all about the handling and the dynamics, but you know, it also encompasses how everything is packaged together in a way that delivers a riding experience that is it's exciting, it's new, and yet it feels kind of familiar. Um, with the powertrain and the battery interaction, you know, this is going to deliver a new and an exciting feel. But our objective is to deliver that in a way which feels, you know, kind of intuitive to the rider. Um, you know, we're achieving this through kind of cutting edge control systems and software development, you know, but with safety really at the forefront. And of course, overall, with the styling, our objective here is not to develop something that is different for the sake of being different, but it's something that is desirable in its own right. And of course, you know, it's got to have that distinctive Triumph DNA. Steve, I understand you have now developed what the TE1 prototype will look like. For the first time, we can now reveal the styling sketches for this new prototype. So, shall we have a look? Wow. Now, as you can see, stylistically and ergonomically, this is going to be a sports roadster. You know, it's got that stripped back, minimal, aggressive look, uh, and it's inspired by our speed and street triple families. Now, the styling is quite clearly modern and fresh, but if you were to ask the average motorcyclist who designed the bike, I'm pretty sure that they'd know it was a Triumph. Now, what you can see here is the clear integration of the powertrain. As you've heard from Deer, Andrew and Trong, all the elements of the project have come together strongly, and we're well on the road to developing this electric Triumph prototype. Now we're all looking forward to having a complete rideable bike, which we're expecting later in 2021. Thanks, Steve. It looks amazing. I hope I'm on the list to ride it. So there you have it, an update on the TE1 project. A first sight of the prototype in development. I think you'll agree there is a great deal of game-changing innovation going on Project Triumph TE1 that's bringing together the best in world-leading British technology and innovation and laying out the future platform for electric motorcycling. I'd like to thank all of today's presenters and you for joining us. I look forward to sharing the next exciting step with the final prototype later this year.